2017 champ, Brandon Watson. So we'll get the feature winner sticker on here on this car down here in Robert Q. Victory Lane. Got the first place trophy, we're gonna get that win sticker on the car. We'll get a word with our feature winner, Brandon Watson. Man, what a battle you and JR had for uh, for most of that one. Tell us about it. Uh, yeah, uh, we definitely had a good car. Uh, we started off a bit loose there at the start. Uh, we were lucky enough uh, that I came in here and pulled down, so we were able to get the car a lot better there. Uh, we had some good battles with the four there in the three. Uh, we just tried to stay up on them, uh, wait for a mistake. I uh, didn't really make many mistakes, but uh, we were just there at one point. Uh, got the gas a little bit later, and I uh, put her in there, and then not sure what happened after, but. Uh, Look out for come over the line. Uh, part time schedule this year. How cool is it? You, you come out for a race and uh, we're in victory lane. Yeah, it's definitely cool. Uh, can't thank all these guys enough. The, the call here saying Price Car was amazing. Uh, can't thank enough. Uh, Shame out of box. Uh, got to dedicate this one to uh, Ron Hole. Uh, unfortunately, passed away last month. Uh, he's been a big supporter of me and not only me, uh, all of racing. So uh, we definitely think that we won this one for him and uh, he's been watching us. And, uh, I can't thank him enough for everything he did for me. Seems like the first uh, the first few moves you were able to make to get up to the front, the car was really working on the outside, but then, you, I mean, JR just wasn't giving you the outside. You had to take that bottom, and, and tell us about that move for the lead. Uh, yeah, definitely the outside was a uh, place to be tonight. Uh, wasn't uh, a lot of car, especially for me, on the loose car at the start, but uh, like I said, if you were able to make some good pass on the outside, uh, you get a good run out there, and then uh, good, like, he was out and then up there, so it was a good, it was a good run by him. Um, just trying to, like I said, stay with them, and uh, wait for a mistake, and uh, do matter of pounds like the race, and uh, we're at the runway of the win. Ladies and gentlemen, with his 13th career APC Series victory, Brandon Watson in the nine machine. Are they 24? Now here with Shea Gamble, driver of the number three machine, and uh, man, you went, you had a war with J.R. Fitzpatrick, you had a war with Brandon Watson, just looks like you had a second place card tonight. You know, at the beginning of the race after qualifying, I was very happy with fifth place, and at the beginning of the race, the cars kind of fell to meet me, next thing you know, we were third, and then we found J.R. there, and I just kind of wanted to save it for a bit, and I saw Brandon was faster than me, so I let him go, let those two battle it out, and then, uh, it's tough to see that for Jerry. They're working really hard on that. They'll be back, that's for sure. But no, this number three, North Country Park, the APC, Standard Axle, Pell City, Garden Center, Cyril's Motor Cars car was, uh, was good to see. It. Well, it worked very hard in practice and we the chops. Did that last restart with about 12 to go? Were you looking at your chops? Were you thinking, this is my chance? I thought I, I don't know, it was the question if I thought. And then once he got a clean air on the outside, I was, well, the second's better than being in the So we'll take this for sure. Hey, you know, a cool race here at Jucasa Speedway. What's it like to compete at this place? I mean, it seems like there's two grooves out there. Yeah, this place is just top-notch all about it. Think in Canada. The inside groove, the outside groove, the pits. This facility is just amazing. Jucasa did a hell of a job. Uh, Alex Nagy and all the job with Jucasa crew. Couldn't thank everybody more than enough. Second place finish, Shake Evel driver of the three machine. Down here at third place finisher Jake Sheridan and uh, there's a former champion named Dale Shaw. I think you got acquainted with him tonight because you and him went at it for a third or fourth spot for about 70 laps. I was going to say 70 laps. That was, that was awesome racing. Dale raced me really, really clean. I appreciate racing with guys like that. That's, uh, that's so much fun and I'm just uh, happy to be in the series be part of it. Was, uh, we, were, we were a short run car for sure. I mean those couple restarts we got on the top, the thing was hauling the mail. It had a lot of gear in it but they come off the corner like crazy man. I had to keep up the leaders is cool but just really fading in the long run. And uh, no, when we were safe, we worked amazing all day today. We struggled, we were loose all day. Might have went a little bit too much on the tight side, but uh, had a lot of fun today and uh, happy to be back up here. Really, I think we should be.
what are you guys going to do to, to get this to be a longer run car? I mean, you let some laps here tonight. What kind of changes you got to make for July next time we're back here? Uh, we got uh, some tough slots. There's some oil on the bottom of the race track. Also on blue motor. Well, this week I got squirrely. Hit us pretty hard on the left side and knocked the toe in. So uh, that's definitely giving me that chatter in the right front. And I think that's why we look tight. But uh, like I said, before that car was really good. Short run. Maybe a little bit loose on exit here. But uh, we got a lot of stuff. We, we try a bunch of things today. I think we learned a lot of what we can, we can do. And uh, I'm just really happy to come back here. I'm really excited for next weekend. My, my, my opinion, the best track in the circuit, Delaware at least, is going to be awesome. You stayed championship contention last year by continuing to finish in the podium. Another third place finish for you tonight. Absolutely. We had some pretty bad luck this year. I mean, last week we broke the distributor, and I don't know when that happened. This is the way it did. But anyway, that's our luck. It's just some bad luck and uh, bad run the first week. But hopefully, we're just going to take over some wins here. I can't thank everybody that's helped us along in these couple of rough weeks here. Pride Seeds, Belfort Property Restorations, uh, John Art Estimating, uh, Barbara Farms. Uh, Leaf Performance Engines building a badass engine. Uh, Edward Jones at uh, Cesarean Scene and Mount Bridges. And uh, like I said, my whole crew works so hard all day. So I appreciate that a lot. And uh, we'll be back and we'll be stronger, but I'm looking forward to home track and Delaware next week. Definitely looking to do some home cooking next week. Third place finish, Jake Sheridan.